Hey, what's up y'all? This is Zoe Gaudry here with another video game review for you guys. Today's review is going to be on Final Fight created by Capcom. It was released in the arcades in 1989. The game was originally convinced as a sequel to the original Street Fighter title Street Fighter 89, but the title was changed before its release when the game's genre changed from a one-on-one -on -one competitive fighting game to a size for a beat -em up game. It was also released for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System, Sega Mega CD, and Game Boy Advance. And then the arcade version was released in a 2-on-1 bundle called Final Fight The Wind Pack, alongside with another Capcom game, arcade game, called Magic Sword, which is a side scrolling fantasy game. Okay, enough of the history lesson. Let's get started with this review. The story is set in a fictional American metropolis called Metro City, based on New York City. A former pro wrestler named Mike Hagar is elected as the new mayor of the city, promising to handle the criminal problems in his campaign. The Mad Gear Gang, the dominant criminal organization of the city, plots to bring Hagar under their control by kidnapping his daughter Jessica and using her as a leverage against him. They listen to the help of Cody, Jessica's boyfriend and a martial arts master, as well as Cody's foreign partner, an jitsu master named Guy. Hagar opts to fight the game instead in order to save his daughter. Alright, since I got the story of the game out of the way, let's talk about the gameplay. This game can be played up to two players simultaneously, with each player controlling a different character. Before the game begins, you can choose between the three main characters, Guy, Cody, and Hagar, each with his own fighting style and attributes. The Guy is the weakest character in the game, but has the fastest attacks. Hagar is the strongest character in the game, but also the slowest. And Cody has all around attributes. The controls consist of an 8 way joystick and two buttons for attacking and jumping. The player character can move in any of the eight directions, but can only face an attack to the left or right, like in most beat em up games. Pressing both buttons simultaneously performs a special move that attacks and attacks in both directions. Though use a little vitality, you can also grab and throw opponents, as well as use various weapons such as knives, pipes, and swords, which I find pretty cool. The game consists of six stages of rounds, as well as two bonus rounds. Each round takes place in different sections of Metro City, such as the slums and the subway, with most rounds featuring more than one level. At the end of the round, the player will face a boss character unique to that round, Overall, the gameplay is good, but very good. It has a very high, has a high learning curve. But if you like old school games that, that have depth, especially has some high learning curve, then this is for you. Even, uh, even I find this game hard to beat, but it was pretty good for me to play a game that is challenging. The graphics are pretty good, especially in the arcade version. The sprites are good for a late 80s Capcom beat em up. I mean, I'm sorry, a beat em up game. I'm, I'm sorry about that, guys. I just messed up right there. But anyway, I find the, the graph hurts much more awesome in the arcade version, but that's just my opinion. The music in this game is cool, especially for the first level, which would be used for Guy in Street Fighter Off 1 2 and Super Street Fighter 4. Overall, Final Fight is one of the most awesome beat em up games I've ever played, along with Double Dragon, which I might review in the future. I give it a 4.2 out of 5. This is all Gaji, sign out.